is the last installment of our 2015 festival, which was the British Invasion, having done Vaughn Williams, Walton Sullivan, Berkeley Bennett, Maxwell Davies, Britain, Weir. We end with Powder Her Face by Thomas Addis. Exhausted but satisfied. The Henderson Good Number. Now this piece is a, a challenge for cast, orchestra, conductor, crew, director. It is um, it's about two hours long, pretty standard operatic length, but in it is a condensed musical and dramatic punch that makes it one of the most exhilarating and also daunting pieces to pull off. The funny thing about this opera is that, for me, it's an incredibly, in one way, very traditional opera. And then it's also very experimental. It's very conventional in its musical narrative form. But at the same time, there, our hero is sort of an anti-hero. We are not sure how we feel about this person. And our sympathies swing to liking and feeling sorry for her and really being quite disgusted by her. And that is in itself a very risky thing to do, but Addis is so brilliant, by, he puts it in the frame of a very traditional opera. In fact, the visceral experience is quite intense. There's some very dramatic and, and quite graphic scenes of both violent and sexual nature. But at the same time, it's wrapped up in the opera decorations and uh, with this idea of this sort of hero, anti-hero going on. It, it, it's a fascinating two hours of theater. I think if we do our jobs well, that the audience really shouldn't know exactly how to feel about her. I think they should really be disgusted by her, not just the sexual stuff, but uh, her behavior towards, uh, towards uh, workers and people that are around her. And, um, and I think they should really sympathize with her plight at the same time. The music is very extravagant, um, but but has a, a real integrity to it. It's it's edgy. It's contemporary. The music is extraordinary. Okay. It's showy. It's musically flashy and showy. It is theatrically extravagant, and it has some scenes which engage the audiences in ways that make them somewhat uncomfortable. It tells a sordid story with great virtuosity.